guys my name is dr keeti and you already know about pg pat tutorials right so as all the md exams is nearing all the post graduate students of final year are very much apprehensive about how to prepare for their md pat exams so what questions i was uh, recently receiving is how to prepare for your paper 4 which has a recent updates so how to prepare for it there is no need of any special preparations okay what you have to do is please uh, make a list of the who changes like uh, we have a who change in fgt female genital tract git lungs uh, bone and soft tissue and also recently cns so make the list of that and what all the questions can be asked you can make a list of it for example uh, ewing sarcoma there is a new ihc marker that is nkx 2.2 so there is a chances that they might ask you as a ewing sarcoma as a question in your recent updates or uh, there is a new entire shift in the pediatric gliomas the pediatric gliomas classification has been entirely changed so there is a high chances that you might get pediatric gliomas as a question in your recent updates and not only that so always make sure any new ihc marker or any change in the diagnostic criteria like nifts like uh, non invasive encapsulated uh, follicular neoplasms with uh, thyroid uh, papillary thyroid like nuclear features it has a criteria right so that is also new update so they might ask you that question also in your recent updates paper so the next uh, what else you should be focusing on is ngs right next gene sequencing and also different uh, molecular classifications uh, like there is a molecular classification for gastric adenocarcinomas and also for uh, carcinoma endometrium and carcinoma prostate and carcinoma colon so these four molecular classifications also can be asked in your recent update paper so these are the few topics which i felt and there are few more topics like um, rose dorfman syndrome now they have identified a new uh, genetic mutation for a rose dorfman syndrome and also even the adher chestum uh, chester disease that is also there is a mutation has been identified so basically how you should prepare for your recent updates paper is make sure any who changes or any new chapter was added for example in soft tissue tumor there is one new chapter was added that is undifferentiated round cell sarcomas right previously ewings was known as uh, the cell of origin for ewings was not known but now they club this ewings in that topic so there is one entire new chapter was added in who soft tissues right so make sure you cover those important points and any new ihc marker any new molecular a uh, change has been identified and any molecular classifications okay so in that way you have to prepare there is no extra preparation needed you have to prepare for your regular systemic pathology along with make sure any new things are added any change in the grading staging when you read you make your notes so it will be easy for you during your exams and while preparing for your systemic uh, paper make sure you refer who first first refer the who classifications then go for tnm staging and open the who book and see what is the definition of the tumor and then see the etiology causes of it okay and incidents then go for the genetic abnormality which is specific for that tumor and then read the typical gross features and microscopy and then go for any grading and staging which is specific for that tumor and ihc marker or genetic variation which is specific in diagnosing the tumor and then write your differential diagnosis and the last you can write the prognosis this is the standard approach you should follow writing for any systemic topic hope i am clear for further more details or any topics you want to know for your preparation of your md pat please do comment down so that next i will be doing video on that topic thank you and all the best start preparing for your md exams and i wish you all the success you deserve thank you have a good day